Hi, let's take a look at New Window 11 external Dolby Atmos renderer integration using multiple CPU systems. The Dolby Atmos Mastering Suite software package includes the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5 or 3.5.1 for Windows and Dolby Atmos Renderer Remote software. Now, the key features of using a Dolby Atmos Renderer with multiple CPUs allows you to run a dedicated rendering and mastering workstations, allows you to work with multiple source slash recorder machines and Dolby Atmos spanning clients, and includes supports for speakers arrays, onboard EQ, delay, gain adjustments, as well as three copies of the Dolby Atmos production suite software. Now, when using multiple computers to reduce the needs of multiple display monitors, keyboards, and mouses, a KVM switch is recommended. Now, in this example, I'm using two Yamaha AIC 128D cards, one with a Mac computer running New Windows 11 and the Dolby Atmos Renderer remote software, and another card with a Windows computer running the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5.1. Now, the Dolby Atmos Mastering Suite license should be activated on the Rendering Mastering Workstation, in this example, the Windows computer, with the Dolby Atmos Renderer software installed. The Dolby Atmos Renderer remote software should be installed on the computer running New Window 11. You can then open the Dolby Atmos Renderer software on the Rendering Mastering Workstation and Dolby Atmos Renderer Remote software on the computer running New Window 11. From the Dolby Atmos Renderer Remote software, connect the Renderer Remote to the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5.1 software. Once the connection between the Dolby Atmos Renderer Remote and Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5.1 is made, a bidirectional communication is established. Make sure to patch the Yamaha AIC 128D card of the Mac computer to the AIC 128 card in the rendering mastering workstation. Now let's take a look at the signal flow starting with the Mac computer running the Dolby Atmos renderer remote and New Window 11. On the Dolby Atmos renderer remote and the preferences driver the Yamaha AIC 128D card should be selected under Audio, Inputs, and Output Device. In New Window 11, under Studio, Studio Setup, Audio System, the Yamaha AIC 128D card should be selected. Under Audio Connection, Output Tab, create a 7.1.2 output bus patched to the AIC 128D card outputs 1 through 10. To synchronize via LTC New Window 11 with both Dolby Atmos Renderer Remote and Renderer 3.5.1, a dedicated channel, in this example channel 89, is needed using Stenberg Semti Generator plugin. Now, from the Dolby Atmos Renderer, the signal can be processed through a DSP processor and/or power amplifiers to fine-tune your speaker configuration in a monitoring room. For example, the Yamaha MMP1 processor can provide control room functions, flexible base management and routing. It can be controlled directly from a new hash system. Now let's take a look at New Window 11 setup requirements when using the external Dolby Atmos renderer. All bed channels should be routed to the main output bus 7.1.2 or a specific speaker, and all object channels should be bused to the main bus. Now let's take a look at the external Dolby Atmos renderer setup window in New Window 11 under Studio, External Dolby Atmos renderer setup. Connect to the Dolby Atmos renderer using a list of available IP addresses that the Dolby Atmos renderer remote has identified as available for connection under Preferences, Remote Clients, and click on Map All to patch New Window AIC 128D output ports to the Dolby Atmos renderer input ports. A preset can be saved, removed, or renamed. Open the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window under Project, or File, Export, ADM, and select External Dolby Atmos renderer under Renderer. Make sure AutoConnect Object Buses is checked for automatic connections. You can now select one or multiple object channels in a project window and create objects from selected tracks under Functions. 
Now the external Dolby Atmos renderer setup window can also be opened from the ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos window by clicking on the renderer setup icon. Now if we take a look at new window 11 ADM authoring for Dolby Atmos functions, Auto Connect Object Buses will automatically add object buses in the Audio Connection Output tabs, automatically set the VST multipanel to Object Mode and route it to the renderer, and the Dolby Atmos renderer will automatically add an input status indicator for each object channel. So let's take a closer look at the Dolby Atmos renderer software. I have the Dolby Atmos renderer 3.5.1 open on the Windows computer, and under File, Settings, Driver, the AIC 128D cards ASIO driver is selected under Audio Inputs and Output Device. A dedicated audio channel, in this example channel 89, is also selected for LTC Sync. On the Mac computer, I have the Dolby Atmos Renderer remote software open and connected to the server, in this example a Windows computer. Once the connection is made, a bidirectional communication between the Dolby Atmos Renderer 3.5.1 and Dolby Atmos Renderer Remote software is activated. Now if we take a look at the new Windows 11 Dolby Atmos project, the external Dolby Atmos Renderer setup window under Studio should be connected to the renderer and map from the AIC 128D cards to the renderer. When ready to record, create a new master file on the renderer mastering workstation, select a directory and master file name, and click Create. You can now engage Record and start playback on your Windows 11. Thanks for watching.